went off to Woody's there in Mullingar one Saturday morning and I bought a chainsaw and a hedge trimmer. I didn't realise until I brought the chainsaw, both of them home, I didn't realise that I had to really assemble the chainsaw. At least I had to put on the chain bar and the chain itself and the cover and so on. And it was a bit tricky, so it broke my bloody heart for about a day anyway. And I was spent the whole of a Saturday and maybe a Sunday morning as well on YouTube watching videos and so on as to how to put the chain on. But eventually I... Uh, Eventually I succeeded, but Jesus, it was a slow process and it, it broke my heart. It was very frustrating. It was very warm and close as well and I was only after coming back from my run, so I was sweating profusely and uh, I had visions of me cutting down trees at this stage and instead I couldn't even get the chain on to the thing, but anyway. Sunday morning now and I'm still at it, nearly at it till lunchtime on Sunday until eventually I uh, made some progress and got a chain on and uh, got it ready to go. I decided I'd warm up and get the, uh, some cutting experience on this smaller tree before I tackle the big one, this one.
was gonna I was going to finish it off my tree my tree chopping tree cutting and uh, well I don't have to do much now well I do have to do a good bit now but not what I anticipated here it is now That tree now was actually supposed to go that way, out towards the road, and instead, dangerously, it actually went back towards the house. And the reason for that is, yesterday evening, the chainsaw overheated, and so I had the hinge cut done. So I had the cut that way done, and I cut that way done, and then it was, had a lovely hinge, beautiful hinge. The tree was going to fall that way. And I was going to leave it and do it later on this evening, or I was going to do it on Saturday morning. And I went upstairs when I came home from work this evening. And when I came back down, I looked out the front door and I saw the bloody tree just outside the front door. So luckily there's no damage done. Very, very lucky that there's no damage done. In other words, it fell exactly in the opposite direction that I wanted it to fall. Now the reason for that was I was relying on the small piece of tree that was still intact to keep it in place and yesterday evening it wouldn't budge and yet a small gust of wind this evening when I was upstairs changing to go for my run, a small gust of wind actually toppled it over and toppled it over in the wrong direction. Thankfully it's down now anyway and I'm going to chop it up for firewood but it could have been it could have been dangerous and I wouldn't mind but I did most things right except I didn't realise that the back cut that I have to do to fill it or to finish it off and to get it down uh, um, and, and I was going to fix up my lawnmower or my chainsaw there this evening but the back cut had to be done relatively quickly I thought I could wait until Saturday morning and clearly there's no need for a back cut now chainsaw's here and I have to do a little bit of work on it uh, just to tighten up the chain it got very very hot there yesterday evening and I need to tighten up the chain so I'll do that this evening and then I'll be able to chop up that tree into firewood and uh, have it for the winter and then there's another tree down there that I'm gonna have a go at as well to tidy it up I really want to tidy it up because the branches are getting out of control and they're blocking the light at the front of the house it's this one here so that one is getting too out of hand I'm not gonna chop that one down though I'm going to leave it, but I'm going to have to trim back those branches there. So, that's the plan.
That's where the tree was. That's where the tree was. The light now in front of the house is going to be far much, far better. Far better light. My office is the front of the house there and it used to get woefully blocked out with the uh, that tree, especially the branches. The branches are so big. My office is there, right hand side. And uh, it was very depressing, sort of, the way the light kept diminishing every bloody year. I'm going to cut this one back. Made good progress now with the tree cutting. The helmet, I have a bicycle helmet on, cycling helmet. The helmet I had with that uh, chainsaw wasn't wasn't great, I couldn't get it to fit. So anyway, made good progress. So I've cleared away that tree there that I wanted to get rid of, let in the light there. And I'll trim this one back. And the next one I'm gonna tackle is this one because again, the branches are just growing out to the sides. They're growing all over the place. And I'm just hoping to be able to uh, nip or nick the branches there at various places and in the most efficient way possible uh, bring uh, restore some more light back here because this is just it's a lovely tree but it's getting out of hand and uh, we can't have that we can't have that I put the tree there so I determine to what extent it's going to be rendering a service or not so anyway let's Let's have a look.
that last bit of footage you saw there was me up on a ladder cutting branches off a particular tree there and I thought cutting the branches off it would be enough but in fact the branches were so tall and so high that inevitably next year they'll be taller again and more difficult to cut so basically we decided to cut the tree down and that's what I've done so you'll see here behind me The whole idea in this was to ensure good sunlight coming in and it's half five in the evening now, it's a lovely evening but the sunshine and the sunlight coming in is very very nice, very very pleasant and it was a little bit claustrophobic, a little bit dark and grey, especially my office is there in the front of the house and I could see it getting progressively darker every year so that's really why we wanted to take the trees in hand and uh, reclaim the property and reclaim the sunlight and we've done that. The sun is going to set there now this evening but there's a beautiful bit of sunlight here now as I say it's half five in the evening and it's open and uh, that's the whole the whole idea of just cut, cut, cutting down those couple of trees. We'll probably leave the stumps there as some sort of a, a memento or a landmark or whatever and this one has a uh, has a character on the front of it as you can see. Anyway, hope you liked the video. If you do, I'd appreciate it if you gave it a thumbs up down below and you may be interested in subscribing to my YouTube channel. Thanks a lot.